check out Billy right here on this beautiful Honda Ascot. A dime, it gives you a nickel change. Beautiful Honda Ascot FT500. this motorcycle these things are uh, fantastic and I don't think they really ever saw their potential in America because we don't really here in America appreciate the big four-cylinder four-strokes for road bikes but there's nothing more charming to ride than an FT500 Ascot um, this being a 1982 model I think they made two different Honda Ascots that year one was a four-stroke v-twin 500 with a shaft drive it had different steering characteristics completely different motorcycle but a good bike this one Different steering, single cylinder, uh, air-cooled, 500 single, based on the XR500 Enduro model. The one difference, major difference between the XR500 and the FT500 is no kickstarter. Uh, I believe this is where the kickstart shaft would go. So it's got an electric start that was engineered into this XR500 engine, uh, which makes it more user-friendly. It's kind of hard to kickstart a 500 single. Um, personally, I've got a lot of experience with these bikes because I had one of these with a sidecar attached to it for about 35,000 miles. And it never, ever let me down. And I took some really long, crazy rides on the thing. And uh, it just never once let me down. Bulletproof, it, this, this is uh, beside the word bulletproof in the dictionary. You know, uh, this FT500, just an amazing motorcycle. This one in particular, I cannot find anything wrong with it. I, I just rode it and um, it shifts properly, it stops properly, uh, it does wheelies okay, uh, and I'm a little cautious about the wheelies, but uh, you know, you just roll the throttle on and the front wheel comes off the ground. It, these bikes steer beautifully. Um, it's got kind of a long, uh, a steep rake on the steering angle, and it lends itself very well to high speed stability. So. Uh, uh, again, this bike does everything right, this particular bike. And I've seen these bikes that are, you know, kind of worn out and uh, not doing as well as this one is. This one is just, I, I told Ken earlier that it looks like a bike right out of the box. Like a, like a new motorcycle. It, there's no, it's a no excuses uh, and bulletproof by design. Uh, Honda really had their act together when they built this bike. And uh, I, it's surprising that it didn't really catch on here. I think they made it longer for European markets. But here in America, the sales weren't that good because, uh, again, we're into big four cylinders, of big V-twins. And uh, the, the single, to me, the single has a great character and it's representative of older days, BSAs, Triumphs, big single cylinder bikes. And uh, anybody that's ridden and owned a single knows that the, the character that comes from the big single is different from any other engine. You know, it has, has, that, kind of, uh, has that kind of appeal. Um, Thump, 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 you know, big thumper. 
this is one of those. Uh, Bill, Billy may have already covered this, but I just wanted to throw my two cents. When I saw this absolutely stunning fire engine red 500 roll up the driveway, I was like, wow, what a time machine. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. The graphics on it, the paint job, the original factory saddle, the stock exhaust. To me, it looks to be all original, except for the upgrades on it, which are the braided stainless brake line on the rear and uh, the uh, braided stainless brake line on the front. Billy, are there any other items on this bike that aren't original? Yeah, I believe uh, it's had a new petcock, and it looks like a new old stock petcock, and uh, rear shocks. But they're period correct, proper dampers that belong on this bike. Uh, I think it's this bike has even got the original chain on it. Guys, 3,277 miles. That's like a couple months of, of summer riding. In fact, did you tell them about how many miles you put on your Ascot? Yeah, 35,000 miles with a sidecar hanging off. With a sidecar hanging out. Yeah, so massive hard stress. miles, I'm sure. Yeah, very, very hard miles. Absolutely the finest, lowest mileage Ascot 500 we ever seen through the shop. Good setup, ready to go. Everything works beautifully. The tires have 80% tread on them left. It's ready to go. Are these a factory uh, super bike bars that came with these? No, they uh, came with a little bit higher handlebars for the American market, but these are OEM grips. You know, these, uh, you know so it's... All the details are there. Uh, I prefer the bike with a little bit lower bar like that, and I think it's totally appropriate for this machine. The bike is absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Uh, you could ride it uh, across the country today, I'm sure, and uh, you get there safely in one piece. Uh, you know, and it stops, like I said, it stops on a dime, with, gives you a nickel change. It definitely does all that. And I have at least two friends who had great success road racing these bikes, and that's a good indicator is how the bike handles, it stops, and goes. So, uh, and I'm, I'm not talking road racing in the back of the pack, I'm talking about leading and winning races on a bike exactly like this. This uh, Ascot name, there's no coincidence, it's called the Ascot. It's named after the flat track in California that uh, brought so, so many spectators and uh, viewers uh, 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 great pleasure. The Ascot Raceway in California, I believe, is closed a while back, but the name lives on here with the FT500. The VT500 as well, but that's another story altogether. That's the same year, same name, but it's a VT500 V-Twin. The FT is the one I love. Do you know we're on this side here, right? One of the things, uh, we've seen over 5,000 classic bikes come through the shop. This new replaced chain logo right here, um, those are usually long gone the first time it's power washed. The, the, these uh, instruction stickers right here, in the condition of the cycle parts, no evidence of this thing ever being dropped. The turn signals, the bar ends, everything's beautiful on it. Right, and the linkage here, these get loose really quick, and this is like brand new. It really is a, a time capsule, time machine. Um, it's it's factory fresh with 3,000 miles, and it runs beautifully. A couple tasty upgrades, uh, performance shocks and brake lines, and it starts and runs like a new motorcycle. 19th class of 82. That makes it what, 40 years old? Yeah. That's a big single. Yamaha had a TT500 that was a nightmare, uh, and they're not very popular anymore because no one could start them. This thing, pinky start, push the button and go. And if you're getting old like I am, and your feet have been black and blue from kickstarting big bore two strokes and four strokes, that electric start is really nice. A little bit of wax on the side of the seat here in the detail shop. But uh, it's got a nice coat of carnauba with paste wax on there. It's ready to roll into the museum or roll it onto the line for an AHRMA vintage event yeah. or bring it to a bike show. Uh, it shows really, really well. So these bikes have bulletproof reliability, typical Honda, uh, great on fuel, good fuel economy, good on tires. You can go thousands of miles with a set of tires on this bike uh, because of the nature of the four stroke single. But really good on gas. Um, easy on insurance uh, as far as cost goes because it's such a, a, a mellow motorcycle but if you ask it it will it will provide you with some performance and it's so, a classic that's going up in value unlike buying a new bike that you lose value this is appreciating every year and it's the right color too without a doubt yeah this no red miles. color you know in this year this is the better year for graphics wise and uh, you know it's in perfect almost near perfect condition it's just a wonderful motorcycle so no excuses, uh, ride it home today and love it for the rest of your life. Want to ride it back into the museum, put it on display in the Honda section for us? It would be my pleasure. It'll be here waiting for you guys, uh, but don't hesitate. There's only one, and I have not seen one this clean with this little Miles. 
this decade. It's the only, only, it's been 20 years since I've seen one with 3,000 miles on it. Thanks, Billy. Listen to that thumper. It's a stock pipe and it still has a great sound. You put a nice uh, performance pipe on there and those things, big board, four strokes, they sing. Sound like an XR500, the pipe. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless America.